Hello, welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kelsey. I am a voice actor in Chicago, and today I will be reacting to Amazing Cultivation Simulator Review, CCP TM Edition TM by Seth Zientak. Uh, listen, Seth Zientak, you and I, we, we vibe. I like your videos. Um, I don't know what, I hear Cultivation Simulator, I think like Farmville. So I don't know what this means, but I'm excited to check it out. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Are you easily entertained by seeing numbers get higher? Would you <laughs> like to play the equivalent of that, except all the buttons have been replaced with Chinese symbols? Do you have a burning interest in Chinese martial arts, Taoism, or the pursuit of immortality? Then I invite you to see where my life has spiraled oh. out of control for the past two months. Amazing <laughs> cultivation simulator. Keep in mind, Whoa. I only paid money for this after 50 hours. I've been playing this for so long that all my ads are in Chinese. Amazing cultivation Cultivation Simulator is a love letter to Chinese wushu novels. Essentially, Chinese okay. sword fantasy. The word is like a sound because it's meant to sound like a sword swipe. In the novels, cultivation is the cultivation of one's internal chi. Through practice, okay, martial so arts, not meditation, <laughs> whatever, and Farmville. chi is the vital breath or essence of our living world. According cool, cool. to the same people who stick needles in your back, the end goal of cultivation is, of course, immortality. And that oh. is what this I want to watch whatever that was from. Guy with huge eyebrows eating a whole chicken after kicking someone. That's my, that's the vibe I wish to exude. And I hope I do. The game is about, essentially, you're going to take a small group of Chinese rice farmers and turn them into demigods. To begin, I need that's to dispel so any notion at all that this is Chinese rim world. I do this by comparing them directly. For example, we need a refrigerator. I'm going to build one. We need a refrigerator. I'm going to drop the frozen soul of a demon and reduce the temperature to absolute zero. The room Freezing is room. too cold. We need air conditioning. The room is too cold. Old, rebuild it out of wood and make the bed out of fire. Now our disciple won't die of frostbite. He'll uh, die of heat stroke. My colonist is crippled, disabled, and completely geriatric. So the cheapest option is to put him down. My disciple is an old, disabled nugget. We have regrown each of his limbs. Also, he's now a 14-year-old boy. We're under attack by bandits. We should get inside to safety. A man just decapitated my best friend from over 10 kilometers away with a oh, flying fedora. Once you get flying past fedora. the obvious comparison, you'll dangerous. never mistake this game for anything else. It's the most deadly milady I've ever seen. You'll need to go through the tutorial. It's it's very quick and gives you a bit of background to the story. The Unfortunately, the, the English voice acting is questionable. Luckily, <gasps> this is a fantasy game, so the sound of women is optional. In contrast, the music is lovely and the visuals are gorgeous. Completing the tutorial unlocks. Don't be shy. I'm sure you will, but I want to hear this voice acting now. The actual game, which is clearly and unambiguously labeled classic, which upon clicking will classic. show a huge list of sliders and settings to scare away. Tribulation the difficulty. Don't touch anything, <laughs> just hit confirm. Next, I wish I could set that to low for my life. Because the developers think it's really funny that there's an almost certain guarantee that you just rolled a Yao Guai as one of your starting characters. Let me explain, white boy. In this world, you can cultivate as even the animation of that. Yao Guai, which great. translates to monster, but really we're referring to demons. Oh, Yao Guai, henceforth oh. referred to as yogurts, are animals that have gained sentience and become humanoid. However, their existence is unnatural, and eventually they have to face tribulation from the heavens. It's sort of like God's punishment for being a furry. I wish I no. knew that before oh, no. I lost my first waifu to a storm cloud. But oh, no. because the random character selection randomizes race, and 11 out of 12 of those races are different Frog. flavors of yogurt, you're very likely Yogurt. to learn that. Until you know what you're doing, I oh. don't recommend starting with dairy products. But if you want to speedrun the game, I recommend starting as the fastest animal on land. A turtle. You'll starve to death before you even reach the dinner oh. table. Beyond oh. this point, there's not much advice I can give. You're gonna suffer and you're gonna learn from the uh -oh. experience. Big so dragon. pick your starting perks and get into the game. Everybody recommends True Sun Refining as your starting law because it's got very simple progression. And if you make cool. a mistake, worst case scenario, you'll just die in horrific agony. If you followed the plot, the entirety of a Tai Yi sect has been annihilated. You and a handful of others are the only survivors. Why was it destroyed and by who? The little 3D models of the characters look like <laughs> like upgraded like DLC for your Mies. 
Who? Whomst did this? Are questions you'll have to answer if you want to uncover the mystery of a Taiyi sect. Ooh. But uh, right now, your primary concern is survival. To help a mysterious cultivator who was tight with your former sect leader drops by for the next two weeks. As long as he's alive, you're not gonna die. That is, unless you go to the bottom left of a map. In which case, oh, no. you will both die. Let's get definitions going. Oh, you're no. running a sect. It's happening a with that tiger. Of cultivation. A sect has outer disciples that will happily do all of your mundane, tedious labor for a competitive salary of about zero dollars. They're not slaves. Uh -oh. As per se, we don't use that word here. It's more like an internship, which never ends. But through a high-intensity jujitsu program known as Foundation, they can become inner disciples. An inner cool. disciple must choose one of the many supreme laws to follow, through which Sunflower. they cultivate a higher state of being. Their progress, abilities, and potential is largely determined by their character stats and background. Like RimWorld, everyone in this game generates with a random background, such cool. as congenital defect, seashell collector, and effeminate male. The combination of stats will determine their comp- I like that seashell collector is genetic. They can't not. They're compelled to collect seashells. Compatibility my with destiny. the chosen law. You start with just one, but you'll known. unlock the rest as the game goes on. Also, they don't have to eat, but they still do. Oh. It's not uncommon to oh, see a okay. cultivator feasting on ramen, even if there's currently a famine. Especially <laughs> if we're currently having a famine. Also, pro tip, you start with a single forming pill. This can instantly finish your foundation and give you an inner disciple right at the start. Oh. After promotion, That's you can nice. go to the sect tab and hit establish a sect. And most important, Importantly, give it a cool name. Once that <laughs> happens, you have officially incorporated. The rest of the game opens up. <laughs> That's so good. Don't work. They cultivate and get stronger. After uh... all, this is Taoist Dragon Ball Z. But after incorporation, you can send them out to explore the world. There's two options: camp and adventure. Adventure sends them out on adventures. They leave and they come back. Camp sends them out cool. to stay. And if you're so inclined, you can physically enter the map and plunder a village. At the start, your map's gonna look like this. Immediately, you're gonna notice something. Thing. One, there's barely any locations because you haven't discovered them. And two, if you try to explore Mount the red zone, you're going to come home in a body bag. That's not enough insects for a mountain. Bag. Because that's not your territory. So whose is it? A great way to find out is to visit them directly and prank them by sneaking inside their school. Once oh they no. catch you, they'll give you Hong a Ming proper Song's introduction. Right break thigh your bone knees, is hurt. snap your spine, and gouge your eyes out. The other and sex aren't very sociable. But diplomacy oh no. is important because if they felt so inclined, they could obliterate us. To even get an audience with them, you PTSD have to make an offering. Okay. Your offering doesn't matter. Each time, they're going to call you <laughs> A so broke ass bitch anyway. That's why we wait for a cow to defecate, mark it as the trade area, and send our gift. Now you can trade. In a world Useless. of immortality, money is an abstract concept. So we're working on a purely barter-based economy. However, cool. we still have a form of currency, and yes, it's completely edible. Spirit stones are the chocolate coins of this world. <laughs> you can trade them during break time for Pokemon cards, or consume them directly to restore a small amount of diabetes. In this case, they restore a small amount of cheat so they function as both a store of wealth and a means of exchange. Each sect offers what? something different for ridiculous amounts of money. And uh, even if you have a stacks to pay Ooh. for it, we're not selling. That would be like selling weapons to your enemy. And how do we know we can trust you? So you have to butter mm. them up. This is mainly done by asking people across the world whether the leader of a sect prefers cats or dogs and gifting him the appropriate kind of meat. Let's return <laughs> to matters back at home. Feng Shui is a Chinese system of thought governing spatial arrangement and orientation in relation to the flow of qi. Have a look. Here's some simple Chinese alchemy that I expect you to memorize by about 200 hours of play. Why do I have to learn this? Because everything in this game is subject to feng shui. Everything has an element and they interact with one another. Water Whoa. nourishes wood. Wood feeds fire. Fire cools to make the earth. Earth produces metal and metal holds the water allowing it to repeat the cycle. Okay, that's cool, Seth, but we don't have time for this. Wait, did my guy just die of heart palpitations? <laughs> Why is oh, the no. yin yang symbol in this bedroom red? What the fuck does ominous mean? When in doubt, ominous. check the pentagram. Room of wood, bed of earth. Wood defeats earth, making the feng shui of a bedroom ominous. And if you sleep in that bedroom, you'll die of a heart attack. Replace the earth bed with a fire bed, and as wood feeds fire, the feng shui will become auspicious, which means good. However, if you but sleep in that bedroom, burn to death. you'll die of heat stroke. That's because fire and water sleep outside, control the go temperature. Camping. In a more relevant scenario, each of the supreme laws practiced by your cultivators has an element. Feng Shui affects the speed and 
success of their practice. So if you're a metal cultivator, <laughs> you would Little avoid cat. fire as fire melts metal. However, if you told him to meditate in an empty room and fed him laxatives, the speed of his cultivation would increase with a volume of shit he produces, as feces <laughs> is the element of earth which promotes metal. If you're confused, I sympathize. There is no way you could possibly know that in Feng Shui, the orientation of a room's door is specific to its function. In other words, bedrooms face south, workshops east, and kitchens west. That's huh. why everything in this game has a comment box, so you and your fellow Guilos can share ideas about what the I hell is going Cena. on. Now, the main focus of this game is cultivation towards immortality, which can be summarized by the following post. You eat a pill, sit on your ass for several years, and once you're done, you go from rank 8 ping pong to rank 2 ching chong, which is still like 100 ranks below the heavenly golden dragon god emperor star ancestor. But it's okay, since there are still about 3,000 chapters to go, and all the big dick characters that could kill you with a fart are currently busy. So you can go and wipe out a ding dong clan, which obsessively wants you dead because you courted death by destroying the king kong clan after its young master picked a fight with you oh over your jade-like beauty childhood friend. Essentially, you're going to perform a bunch the of drama. esoteric and poorly understood processes Hip to help muscles. you reach What's a going higher on power with that? level. There's oh, no. three <laughs> types of cultivation in this game, and I'm going to mispronounce all of them. Xian Dao, Shen Dao, and physical. Xian Dao is most relevant because <laughs> it makes up 90% you of the game. With those, your process those of cultivation is derived from Chinese internal alchemy, where instead of a cauldron, you use your body, and instead of reagents, you use your chi to form a golden core. Think of a philosopher's stone, except backwards. That's what a golden core is. Instead of drinking the elixir of life, we are the elixir of life. Mm. Xian Dao is unique since you can transcribe your knowledge to a manual. This means a single cultivator can study from every other law and become exponentially more Whoa. powerful. This can lead to interesting situations where someone might learn skills they really weren't supposed to, such as a There are countless demons crying in my soul is what that text just said. A male cultivator oh, learning no. lunar form from the sunflower refining law and by doing so, reversing his sex. Becoming female in this game results in the that loss of your penis, can be picked up and sold on the open that market. You so can funny. even make money off this by regrowing your penis, which will, upon realizing that you're not meant to have one, detach immediately. Each time what? you harvest a crop of penis, you become the dick farmer. But I digress. To reach a higher power level, what? you have to perform a breakthrough. This is essentially a body neck in your training, which you have to overcome or you can't progress. Golden mm. Core, however, is different. It is the single most important breakthrough of your career. Every condition has to be perfect. The season, the weather, the time of day, the mental state of a cultivator, the element of a room, the chi density, and the amount of chi flowing through the cultivator's meridians. Get all those right and you just might get a better result than I did. I genuinely thought I did pretty good for my first time. Tier 9, I thought to myself, that that's a pretty high number. Tier 9 is the lowest tier of Golden Core. It what? is trash. Literally, swallow a rebirth pill and reincarnate yourself, my man. You fucked up. Early on, your Golden Cores are gonna suck. But with experience comes knowledge. And once you learn how, you'll be making some fat cores on a regular. Fat then cores. there's Shendao cultivation. Instead of cultivating your chi, you take in the chi of others through worship. Belief mm. is power. And the more people believe in you, the more powerful you become. <laughs> I loved that character. I loved that little bald baby man with a single must. Well, why would he have a <laughs> single mustache like he has three? But I love him. He's just bald with a little mustache. Come, once you establish yourself as a divine being with a realm of heaven, you can be the petty god you've always wanted. As a rule, I only answer bad prayers. That's what I want to look like. Bandits, famine, refuse. Don't waste my time. You wish that tomorrow your favorite brothel prostitute hasn't been taken? Granted. You want your boss to step in dog shit? Granted. You want the guy who stole from you to be struck by lightning? My pleasure. You want those annoying neighbors next door to die in horrific agony? Me too. You want someone to celebrate your birthday with you this Aww. year? Granted. At some point, oh. I learned to stop worrying and love Shandao. Also, they get the most ridiculous titles. Just imagine that every prayer addressed to you has to be prefaced with Dear Primordial, True Venerated, Great Pardon, Supreme Virtue, Venerated, <laughs> Holy Emperor. That leaves us with physical cultivation. What is physical cultivation? It's an inner disciple that spent the last 50 days remolding his phallus. Due to the mental state bonus of having a gigantic penis, he is now physically immune to depression. 
In all seriousness, you take a mortal and you turn him into a super saiyan. Every body part, okay. limb, joint, bone, and organ of your Nose, body, you can remold kidneys. until you become Goku. And then you give him intense PTSD so he can channel those repressed memories to increase his attack power from 1 million to 7 million and one You give these characters the trauma game. so also, that they, they, they can use it in battle. Animal, they all have unique cat. anatomy that's different to humans, which means for every species of demon you turn to physical cultivation, there's tissue, bones, and organs not found anywhere else. In other words, fuck your opposable thumbs. I got vertebrae fused to my carapace. Sooner or later, your sect is gonna be attacked by bandits, demons, or other cultivators, with the exception <laughs> of Bamboo spin move the bandit did. With their bare hands, Xian <laughs> Dao and Shen Dao cultivators fight using artifacts. Oh no, what that's is a big artifact? turtle. Well, anything. A Kleenex tissue, a bowl of ramen, a bag of flour, a bucket of water, a pile of shit, severed male genitalia. As long as you enchant it, you can use it. Preferably, try to enchant an actual weapon. Although, you can't deny it's what? very demoralizing to see your fellow bandit get decapitated by blue fabric summer shirt. Combat <laughs> is basically your guy sit around why would yeah why wouldn't you do that cut everyone to pieces it's pretty fun to watch especially I would. larger battles where the sky What's is the worst item i can of course imbue no with magic complete without embracing traditional chinese medicine that's right alchemy here's a good summary yes. of what alchemy is like change the weather lose 20 years of your natural lifespan which may sound bad until you visit the local chinese pharmacy and pop a pill which adds 500 another which oh. adds 280 and wash it all down with some mineral water, which adds another 99. Now, the only thing you have to cure is perpetual baby face, which is a common symptom when you have a lifespan of 3,000. You want something done? Yeah, Love that. there's a pill for that. Obesity? No burn. problem. Not obese enough? I gotcha. Would you like to prank a demon, force feed him a rebirth pill, and he'll reincarnate right back into a piece of pork on your dinner uh. plate? The cycle of karma is a fickle mistress. Honestly, if alchemy made any more sense, I'd actually be upset. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to put myself in a coma for three days. About 30 oh, days in, you're going to get a pet. A divine a puppy. pet. This is different to normal pets, which you adopt into your sect by shooting them with hunting bows, which are somehow blunt and tipped with anesthetic. This may sound very stupid, sure. but on the other hand, Gundo Musashi had bullets that put you to sleep, and that was a masterpiece. <laughs> anyway, he starts <laughs> off as a baby and grows larger with time. He's that's also a little shit. A, that's you're gonna a have big to keep old an dog. Eye on him before he destroys destroys your sect. For example, my friend like <laughs> Arf, I'm ruthlessly destroying your loom. And saw one of his cultivators doing a breakthrough, and he thought to himself, fuck, my man is literally shitting himself. This is one intense breakthrough. Turned out his yeah. dog was feeding laxatives to all of his inner disciples. It is your that responsibility dog's too smart. to teach them right You gotta send him away. Get out the real the arrows. Yes, attack out our disciples. Give him some cardio. Drug I'm biting Gauli as hard as I can. Why not? Give him this some dog an injured is the true villain of this yes, game. Attack known mortals kill them whether you raise him to be a <laughs> functional member of society I or a I'd never defecate on a bed is entirely up to you you can even rename him to something a little more chinese if you include the bamboo forest dlc which adds oh, a pair of pandas there's five pets in total they're incredibly cute and generally amazing at the beginning your sect can only hold 12 members this increases to 24 then 36 as your reputation increases reputation right. also increases the power level of invading enemies don't let this number get out of control or you'll experience firsthand what it's like to lose a 50-hour game in five seconds, which is a good time to inform you that in this game, you can draw Chinese talismans with your mouse, the cool. accuracy of which determines the blessing. You can even draw on a blank <laughs> sheet of paper, and it's still gonna work. I know this because somebody drew a swastika, and apparently they can now use the oven 12% faster. So please draw a bunch of invisibility scrolls and wear them when you go on adventures. Your sect will thank you Wonder each what time they drawing that murdered like in your absence. the S it's not would easy do. To make stacks in this game, I think it would just give you like you won the game. Filling our ranks. We do the game's over. Small talk, That's what happened with that, that half S. Of them love nothing more than to ravenously consume shit and invite them Dragon over. Dragon feces. We're gonna need a lot of manpower Yum. for our Chinese sweatshop as inner disciples cultivate immortality. Outer disciples cultivate huge plantations of cotton. We're gonna process that down to fabric and we're gonna wait because very soon a merchant is gonna show up. He operates Here on he a sweatshop economy. He's gonna pay you garbage so you better have a high volume of 
garbage to sell. <laughs> Luckily, our emaciated peasants have worked hard this summer, and we just earned 10,000 spirit stones. We're gonna wow. celebrate by losing it instantaneously, because the merchant also sells an invitation to an exclusive event. Read the token, oh. and we're off to the auction house. Have you ever gone to an auction where you can't even see what's being sold, but instead are given a vague description? Hard. Lumpy. A man's hand shoots <laughs> up. I'll take it for 10,000. Not to be outdone, I raise This is his just offer. a game I'll show. This is not 12, even an auction. Another joins in. 13. <laughs> Haha, Another someone really wants it. 14. The rest fold because they're poor as fuck. Those who remain keep raising. Eventually, there's only two of us. One final raise. 56,000. I won the bid, but I don't have 56,000. But, uh, they don't know that. The auction ends. It's time to pay. I can't pay. I am under arrest, but I'm not because I am a mannequin made of straw. I never went to the auction. I took a clone pill and sent my body double. <laughs> and that is a good summary of the auction house experience. It's That's not amazing. about what we bid on. It's about Phoenix why we flesh. do it. We do it to flex on the poor. While keeping a low profile is important, you you should expand when given the chance. You see, your sect is local, but we can export the culture, the lifestyle, and the religion to the rest of fantasy China. To do this, we establish agencies. Then we set a cool. policy for each region and grow our influence. Depending on the policy, you get Plotting. random events, which have to be solved using insanity. You get a bunch of buttons, which I assume is what a paranoid schizophrenic's dialogue options look like, and you press whichever one you think is appropriate to the situation. Options include talk, bribe, kill, seduce, or throw a rock at someone and stone them to death. Foreigner scamming oh the locals, murder him. Another sect is preaching about their faith. Pay them a hundred spirit stones to fuck off. Is it currently Ramadan okay. in the Great Desert? Start handing out food. Believe me, the longer you do it, the more sense it makes, or the more warped and psychopathic your reasoning becomes. For Thigh example, temple. you're building a wonder and some people drop by to ask what you're doing. Wrong answer, debate Feng Shui. Correct answer. Beat them <laughs> with a club. If you solve stuff correctly, you get sure. a bunch more followers. Followers can dig up natural resources, generate belief that converts into experience, completely skipping the grind of cultivation, and cool. be sacrificed for the greater good. You see, we're gonna need a lot of anguished soul, soul gems, which gems. are formed from a painful death in ominous oh, no. way. Luckily, a big with demon agencies, hand. there's no shortage of fresh and willing mortals. With oh no. You can build a sect gate. This is the front door, where hopeful mortals Mortals arrive to prostrate huh, themselves, bowing. begging to be recruited. But instead, we're going to build a hell gate, which is yep. the same gate, but in I a room with ominous feng shui at a comfortably cool temperature of absolute zero. We're going to recruit knew mortals it. from every city. He's they will arrive, farming the people, and freeze to death in horrific agony. And the negative moral <laughs> consequence of such an action? Zero. Because they have died through no fault of our own. This is a good time <laughs> to introduce alignment. Your sect can be good or evil, but preferably we want a balance. So we have good relations with both the virtuous and the demonic. This game exemplifies the Chinese practice of moral relativity. Hmm. What are they doing there? What are they, protesters? If I horrifically mutilate someone's dying body to extract the location of their friends and family, that's slightly evil. But as long as you give them a proper burial, that's a net neutral action. And we have done nothing <laughs> wrong. Freeze or, as many as people as you want in your human farming room as long as you doing, give them a proper burial. I no don't care. Until he collapses from extreme first. At which point, I feed him a laxative and watch him shit himself to death. Is it oh. wrong to watch a dying man's ass fertilize my fields. No, not at all. But if I turn a bandit's dead, broken body into a flesh puppet to serve us economically until it rots away, that's considered evil. A yeah. bigger question, I yeah, guess, I see is why. if I get decapitated by a dragon while oh, no. adventuring, no, fly no, back skull. head, and use Yang God Lost and to transfer my consciousness into the body of another man's wife, would that make me a homosexual? Some questions have no clear answer. Have you dance. ever frozen to death during winter because the wall of your house stood up and walked away. Unfortunately, in this game, that's okay. a frequent occurrence. Without warning, anything on the map can gain sentience. Sentient objects can also randomly enter the map, as I've seen <laughs> entire pagodas march in and flatten oh. my base. What's oh, the no. point of them? <laughs> to grief you. But more seriously, you can turn them into a 14-year-old boy. What is the application of this? Well, you can take a shit, give it sentience, and turn it into a human, who you're going to call Big Chungus, because the guys Good. on Discord datamined 
the Chinese code and found out that specific set of Latin characters ensures that the sentient spirit will generate with the highest stats Illuminated possible. Illuminated feces. You're gonna make a literal piece of shit become a demigod and a. I wonder if that's a hairstyle you can choose or like an Easter egg they put in that's like, oh, if you choose to animate a piece of poop into a person, their hair is going to look like poop and you can't do anything about that. Either way, very Ascent good. To heaven, and that's what cultivation oh, is all hello. about. By the way, everyone Large who ever goes people. to heaven, whether by death or ascension, gets a little epilogue section. So you can follow Aww. the shenanigans of former disciples. Here's that's a fun. sample of the literary gems you might encounter. Oh, no. Ming Wu reincarnated as an ant, but got drowned to death by no. a mean child who peed on the ant nest. No. Then he reincarnated into a parrot, but because he learned a Pulled lot out. of profanities and was swearing all day, someone plucked <laughs> out his feathers and he froze to death oh and no in his next life as a human he met a strange acting boy and believing him to be an immortal in disguise that could teach him cultivation he took him in as his own however as it turned out the child was actually mentally retarded later on you'll find out combat gets a little more complicated with the introduction of formations all, of, understand those, what all of these stories are so complex like what <laughs> Someone had to write all of this to be generated by the game. Like... That is, go to another so set and try stealing. The moment you do so, a gigantic bubble forms in the sky and tears you to pieces. This uh -oh. is called a formation. The leader of it is called the pillar, and everyone around them an auxiliary. It follows so the that's rules what Beyonce of Feng Shui, so okay, different ladies. elements will now feed let's each get other formation. as they flow back to the pillar. It might look Stupid. very... Oriental, but honestly, it's just Chinese Lego. What's the point of formations? To deal with a little cave that appears in our base after about 200 days. Oh. If you're not ready and you need to suppress it, give it a nice room. This will buy you some time, but whatever you do, don't give it offerings. It's uh -oh. going to break out anyway, but your sacrifice is that the big ghost hand thing that showed up so earlier. We may as well. Dragonborn. Welcome oh. to the official casual filter. The Ooh. first boss you're going to encounter is the Flood Dragon, and it has a chi of about 10 million. Uh -oh. Good luck. Honestly, if you get to the stage, congrats. Now, swallow your pride, go read a bunch of guides, and install yeah. some mods. It'll improve your life greatly. I'll attach the ones I use below. There's nothing essential, but when you have to Seth micromanage taking the, care of the mental people. state of about 18 different cultivators, it does get tiresome. Listen, I've been writing this script for close to a month. There's no way to include everything and I want my life back. Oh. So here's a stream of consciousness before I give an arbitrary score and go live in the woods. Each sect has a wonder. Yours is no exception. Go to the ruins of a Taiyi sect and bring it back. The mini universe is a game changer. It's an infinite pocket plane that sucks in material and spits it out. But oh, could cool. there be a deeper, more mysterious function? No, it's just storage. No longer <laughs> will your peasants have to walk for nourishment because the best soups of a Wuhan wet market are going to fly right into their hands. After killing the first blood dragon, which will always, without fail, crash its body into one of my expensive cultivation rooms, the game removes all <sighs> safety checks. You can now summon the phoenix, which creates 10 days of extreme drought, during which oh. time your base oh. is going to burn to the ground, because you forgot to move a single phoenix feather, which landed in a bedroom and turned the temperature to about twice the melting point of steel. Uh -oh. After 10 days of drought, it doesn't stop. It's permanent. The only way to end it is with a rainstorm miracle, which will make your phoenix very upset. It's I'm stronger sure. than the flood dragon, by the way. Also, you can't kill a phoenix. Each time you do, it's yeah, just going to right. Maybe I should have mentioned that earlier. Again, good luck. Then there's so the if you want to be dragon, done playing the game, you the summon the phoenix. And comes in a yin-yang variant, respective to the time Whoa, of day. Each variant is boy. invincible to elements of the same polarity, and even worse, they make him stronger. Also, he's going to lay a bunch of eggs. You no. should probably just ignore them. And and if you survive all that, there's really one challenge left. Genociding every other sect and beating them into submission. Once that's done, you can truly say, I finished the game. Now you can go back and play on the real difficulty. I do, however, have some major complaints. Remember oh, the chicken story guys the back. plot? Yes. Weren't we supposed to investigate the mystery of a Taiyi sect and why it was destroyed? Yes, but the process of doing so is so terrible that I'm just going to save you the pain and tell you instead. You see, every character 
that's not your own can be interacted with, and we uncover the plot through the talking minigame. Primarily, this is done by adventuring to another sect. You talk to people, you get cool. favor. After a while, you don't get favor. You only get favor from juicy gossip. So, you have to talk to another character, learn something about them, go back to the first character, and tell them a secret about the second. You're just gossiping to get the a lot. From the second, I'll have to talk to 20 other people to have enough gossip and rumors to trade for more gossip and rumors. It's an infinite web of high school bullshit. It's the experience <laughs> of being a teenage girl because you can't get the information you need directly. You have to go through the PMS chain of command to learn absolutely anything. Now, here's the big problem. You might see a little question mark on someone next to the mystery tab. These are the people you need to investigate to solve a mystery. Again, you have to ask an entire sorority if they think that person knows something. If you ask them face to face without circumstantial evidence, they'll see this. I don't know if I would play this game as a lot of work, but talking to every single person and going through every single dialogue option is how I play games. So this part, this wouldn't bother me, but a lot of the other like grindy elements of this, I'm like, I don't know if I could do that act dumb and say nothing. And even if you know that they know, they still have to open up to give you that information, which is dependent on their personality. If they're naive, <gasps> that's the best case scenario because you don't have to do anything. If they're greedy, nice. you have to bribe them. If they're weak, you have to kill them. If they're tough, <laughs> you have to gaslight their personal weakness. But if they're withdrawn, unfortunately, you are screwed because uh. the only way to make a withdrawn person open up is to make your spirit dog act playful in front of them. This requires a fully grown spirit dog, which can take hundreds of days. Fatness. And each time you do it, 168 percent. The retardation of this mini That's game, a good which dog. takes 10 to 20 days to recover. About 20 hours in, my eyes bloodshot and attention slipping, I managed to solve the first two mysteries. You do nice. this by finding clues, participants, and motives, and slapping them together. The more you find, the more complete and accurate your solution is. Then I talked to the next five characters, and they were all withdrawn, oh, and no. I put the game. I have never seen a story mechanic that's more laborious, difficult, and poorly thought out. But it doesn't end there. It gets better. You can do all of that and still hard lock yourself from completing the game because you didn't pick the right option for a specific event on day 565. Or you waited too long and someone essential to the plot has died of old age. Still, I wasn't entirely sure about the story, so I had to bring in the expert, resident merchant, aficionado of Ben 10 porn, and mentioned on several no-fly <laughs> listings across Thailand. Hello, my nigga. I, I become rap people because I eat watermelon. Jap. His hard drive died about five times while explaining, but here's the gist of it. The Thai Yi sect was attacked. By who? By everyone. Both the evil and virtuous sect leaders conspired together to wipe Ooh. it out. But what could justify such a strange alliance? because the old leader of the Thai Yi sect is none other than the demon emperor Fu Pekong, who is oh no. currently inside your mini universe. If you uh... talk to him, you'll get your answers. You see, cultivation is difficult, but it's also strangely common to see someone go from mortal to demigod in just a few weeks. That's because <laughs> this world isn't real. Overwhelmed by demons, the elders left the great vastness of the universe to this pocket universe, where cultivation is quick, but the creed of heaven is weakening, and once it fails, this universe will end. They took a shortcut to artificial power, and now they're trying their best to hold on. In the final act, a cutscene plays and Fu Pekong undoes the universe, throwing us back into the great vastness. Everyone Whoa. is mortal again, but this a time really dope do cutscene. What? The title card drops coming in 2023. Bug Snacks 2. And that's the story of Amazing <laughs> Cultivation Simulator. So you never have to go through that horrific experience. In conclusion, I give Amazing Cultivation Simulator 10 out of 10 euphoria pills. <laughs> I hate it. It's like the opium wars, except in this case, the Chinese are winning. If you're interested, you can get a copy on Steam. Also, hours. it's coming to GOG on the 23rd of July. This is made possible thanks to Polish greed and my growing alliance with a CCP. Because I like to bet on the winning team. And right now, that's Team China. A warm thanks to the many members of a Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. <laughs> You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Wow. That, what, what a game. It's very pretty. And that cutscene, I honestly, like the whole game, I was like, oh, that looks very nice. It's very pretty. But the, the, I was not expecting that cutscene to be so pretty.
And I was not expecting that game to be that tedious. That's just, man, Seth really likes to torture himself with these really, really tedious, obscure-ish games, which is fine. He can do that, and it's for our entertainment, which is great. But man, that is... That's a lot of work for what seems like a little reward. There just seems to be too many moving parts that like you're going to forget about a lot of them. And one of them, it seems, as he said, could lead to you just like not even being able to finish the game, which is at that point, like 634 hours. That's that's so much. I could not do it. But you know what? He did it, so I don't have to. And uh, and I got to see that cool cut scene. So thank you for that, Seth. Thank you for that. Well, thank you all for joining me on this uh, adventure um, of cultivation. And yeah, so be sure to like and subscribe for content just like this. And we will see you next time. <laughs>